One of the biggest challenge for students who are studying for Cisco Encore or any exam related with Cisco software defined access is to be able to have hands-on experience uh, with SDA technologies. And I know this because I also was in that situation while I was studying for my uh, CCIE lab exam. I couldn't afford to deploy a lab on my own because uh, the software DNAC uh, requires a lot of computational power and also some of the devices uh, have to be compatible for SDA solution. So uh, one of the options that I used was uh, the Cisco platform that is available for free that you can use some of the uh functionalities on that platform but you still have some limitation but it's still better than nothing and this platform is cisco d cloud so i use cisco d cloud during my ccie lab exam preparation and it was beneficial because i was able to at least uh spend some time by navigating through uh, the graphical user interface and I use other resources as well but in this video I would like to share with you how you can take the most of Cisco D Cloud for preparing for your uh, Cisco Encore or to gain hands-on experience with Cisco SD access or more precisely uh, DNA Center okay so I'll share the link to this uh, resource in the video description so I'm just going to walk you through this platform what you can do and how cool it is now this is one of the demo cases that they have on this platform so Cisco D Cloud it is a platform that hosts different scenarios with different technologies so uh, in this case we're just going to focus on Cisco DNAC so in this particular version, so Cisco DNAC provision version 235.3, uh, Cisco prepared certain scenarios that you can go through to test the product. Now, you still have some limitations, but again, as I said, it's better than have nothing. So you'll be able to not only practice directly on DNAC, just like you would have your own home lab, but the benefit is that it's not taking any of your computational resource on your computer. You're using all of these available for free from Cisco. Okay. So in this first page about, uh, it outlines, uh, what you'll be able to learn through this demo. Okay. So they're supposed to guide you on how you should do the things that they expect or that they want you to do so you will have some freedom to do some extra things but my advice is that you stay on the line to what they are guiding you to do okay now to log into this demo uh you we're going to use those credentials demo uh, that's the username that's the password and there are other demos available on this site you can uh, search for yourself and a great tip and very important is you must use incognito mode on your browser whether it's chrome whether it's mozilla or brave you must use incognito mode otherwise you will have some problems uh my advice for you is just use incognito mode actually i'm also using incognito mode right now so if we jump to this tab scenarios, so these are the different scenarios that uh, you can learn how to do them. And since you have them here also align here. So you have pictures uh, that illustrate exactly how to do things. So you won't see something in this scenario that will be different on uh, once you log into DNAC. Uh, so we're going to do some of these scenarios so that just you have some idea of what you can do obviously it will take just forever to cover all of these scenarios and this is meant to be more as a guide to what you can do as an additional resource for your cisco studies okay 
So let's jump into Cisco DNAC. So the user credentials. So let's see, it was here on about. So I'm just going to copy the password and the user is BMO in the login. Okay, this is DNAC dashboard. And you can see we already have some information in this network, such as uh, network health, uh, number of devices, number of sites. So there are around 121 devices. Okay, so we can see that there is already a lot happening in this network. So let's go through a couple of scenarios. And uh, so we're going to design a network. So we'll begin with network hierarchy and we want to provision or assign a device to a specific site. Again, if you are already somewhat familiar with Cisco SDA, that should be easy. If not, I wouldn't recommend that you start with this platform yet. OK, so let's go with the first step on designing or creating a site and that's network hierarchy. So he, he, there are the steps here. So design and network hierarchy. So let's go to uh, design and network hierarchy. Okay. So what should we do on this uh, part? So then we should create uh, a new area inside uh, USA. So, okay. So you can see that this is a line in hierarchy. For instance, we have total sites uh, that are inside uh, DNAC and they are organized in continent. So we have North America. Uh, let me extend this. We have USA and we have California, New York, Texas and Washington. OK, so we're going to add a new one in USA. So we're going to add a new area. So the area name is going to be Chicago. So I'm just going to copy this and paste directly. And we're going to add this into the parent area. And that's going to be USA Global North America. OK, so we have a new site uh, inside USA. So the next step, let's see. Now we should add a city or a new area inside uh, Chicago. In this case, we want to add a building. OK, so let's add a building inside Chicago. So I'm going to add a building. So what's going to be the building name? So it's going to be CHG5. It's going to copy and paste this. And this is the address for that specific building. So we go to address and select. So that should be the one 9501. Okay. And you can see it's like we are designing the network uh, inside DNAC. So that's the concept of DNAC in the first place is that you want to design your network, how you want your network to be like so that when you deploy the equipment, uh, you already have the network uh, designed. So I'm going to add this building here. OK, so this is done. So you can see all the steps here as well. So now what do we want? So we want to add a floor to that building. OK, so I'm just going to grab the name for that floor. Again, we're doing everything inside USA, uh, Chicago. So we have the building and now we're going to add a floor inside this building. OK, so let's paste the name and that should be enough. OK, are you sure you want to proceed without image? Yes, no problem. We just added a floor inside that building. And yeah, it looks like everything is done. So the last step here is just to visualize this in satellite mode. So we're just going to click here. So you can see all the sites we have in USA. So we have Chicago, we have New York and we have a couple more here. We can scroll inside or outside, zoom in, zoom out. OK, however we want. So what is this? Seattle. OK, so we have our site created in USA.
Okay, so now let's go to the next step and we're going to create a network profile. So we can just go directly to the scenario we want to, to play with. Uh, and so now let's go to design network profiles. Okay, so let's go to design network profiles. Okay, so here we're going to add a new network profile. Okay, so that's going to be wireless. I'm just going to uh, get a Chicago campus and we're going to add profile wireless and the name will be Chicago campus. Okay, so what is the next step? So we're going to add the SSID and it should be, uh, let's see, corporate CHG corporate. Okay, let's copy this. Corporate SSID, so profile name, add SSID, corporate. So let's select this one. And wireless LAN profile, I don't think it's this one. Let's see. It should be CHG corporate. Okay, CHG corporate. Let's see if does it have already. No, it doesn't. So we have to create this CH corporate. Okay, so this looks okay. So we can create our own by just following uh, the instructions here. Obviously, there are no points for following the rule. Just want to make it simple. Okay, and we're going to add this new network profile uh, to the site we just created. So to Chicago building first floor. Okay, so let's see, we can save this. Okay, and now we have to assign to a site. So let's select assign to a site and our site is located in North America, USA, Chicago. Now, should we assign to the floor or to the building? So let's see the steps here. So it just was assigned directly to Chicago site. Okay, so we're going to select Chicago site and save this. Okay, let's see the next step. So now uh, DNX supports uh, more AAA servers per SSID. Okay, so you, we can configure up to four authentication servers for each one. So now we're going to add AAA servers to our SSID profile, looks like. So let's navigate to design network settings and wireless. So let's go design network settings and should go, let's see. So settings inherent. Yes, we agree with this. Just don't show me this again. So let's click on wireless. Okay, and here on wireless, so navigate to wireless. Yes, configure AAA associated with corporate SSID. Okay, so we're going to have to find the corporate SSID and configure AAA. Yeah, let's do this. So corporate SSID, that should be the one. And let's configure AAA. So there are currently uh, only one AAA server. Let's see what they want us to do. So we should add these additional three AAA servers. And that should be kind of the output. So 10, 1, 30, 71, 75, 89. Okay. I'm just going to delete this one. Uh, replace. So that's going to be 71. Let's add another one. And that's going to be 75 and 89 okay and lastly we only have 91 okay so this is in case we have multiple uh triple a servers such as eyes so now we can configure this okay triple a servers were configured awesome so next step is to provision so we created a site, we created a network profile. So now we want to provision advice uh, to this site. Okay. So what we have to do next. So we're going to provision and inventory. Okay. So let's go to provision and inventory. 
and here we should select uh let's see i already know but it is wireless controllers okay and we want to select these wireless controllers so campus double oc3 and we want to provision this device okay let's see how to do this so let's select wireless controllers and it's taking some time because if you look here we are at chicago site so probably that's the reason because there are no wireless controllers in chicago at this moment so we're going to select global and so it should pop up all uh, different wireless LAN controllers and we can see here campus uh double oc3 so we want to provision this one so let's just confirm we want to actions provision provision device okay what we have to do next so we want to provision but first we have to remove uh the existing site assigned to this uh wireless controller okay so we're going to remove this one and we're going to uh, assign to the site we just created to the building chg5 so i'm going to delete this one and we're going to choose a site so our site is in north america usa that should be chicago and chg5 okay let's just save this okay so click on next uh so what do we have to do next let's see so after provision so we're going to click next four times and then we should see a summary of all the steps done okay now let's see so we're going to click on next click on next and the summary page so this is what is going to be assigned to the wireless R controller so this is going to be placed on our site so chicago site on this building so with all of these details the network profile it is already assigned to the same site okay so we want to provision now okay so let's do this so i'm going to deploy and provision the device now and apply the change so now the wireless line controller is provisioned to chicago site which means that if i select global here okay if i filter wireless controllers and select global so let's just select uh chicago site okay we should see now that the wireless lan controller uh was provisioned to this site Okay, and that should be the same here. So you can see that it's very, very intuitive. It's easy to use. Again, uh, this is useful in case you want to have hands-on experience with Cisco DNAC. And in case you want to have more uh, information about the cloud, uh, they have a YouTube page. Let's see if I can find it. So click on what's next yeah that should be so that should be here so the cloud youtube so if we go to their youtube channel uh there are a couple of videos here that you can explore as well on different platforms different uh demos that you can also search uh on cisco the cloud so that's what i want uh, to share with you guys so that's uh, another tool that you can use to your toolbox uh, in case you want to test not only Cisco SD access but also other platforms, other technologies on Cisco that you can use for free. So I hope you found this video useful. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and I'll see you on the next one.